Hello YouTubers and food enthusiasts. I want to welcome you to my new cooking channel. My name is Dave Reek and I've been cooking for a long time and definitely been eating even longer. On today's episode I'll be cooking a cast iron pot pie and I'll be making the crust and I'll go through all the steps of how to put it together. So the first step in making this pie crust is we need to get two cups of flour and just regular old all-purpose flour will work just fine. And I've got a mixture of one-third cup of lard and one-third cup of butter and we'll need to mix that in I'm gonna go ahead and get this going This, this butter and this uh, lard are at room temperature right now. Chicken pot pie is one of my favorites. I've made quite a few over the years. And uh, you can make different variations of it. It still always seems to come out really good. And to that, we need to add one teaspoon of salt. I tend to over salt, so today I'm gonna to make sure I only put in one. And then we're gonna put in a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And what the apple cider vinegar will do is it'll slow down the formation of gluten so that the crust does not get overly tough. I know a lot of people don't do this, but it's something that I've learned uh, from some recipes that I've liked in the past. There's my little cheat sheet. I need four to five tablespoons of ice cold water, and I've already got water here that I've put ice in. I've got it really cold, and uh, Again, the ice cold water will keep it from being a, a tough crust and it'll also keep that butter and that lard from melting. You want that to happen in the oven. My wife's working hard at the hospital today taking care of COVID patients and this will be a nice surprise when she comes home to have a chicken pot pie. She might even like me again. Well, it's starting to form dough, so I'm going to shut it off. And next thing we'll be doing is we'll be rolling this out on our silicone pad. So now what we'll need to do is start rolling out that dough and create our crust. And I like to use a silicone pastry pad and a silicone roller. And another thing I like to do is get some glad wrap and put it down so that it makes it easier to move the crust around when it's completed. This stuff is not the easiest to work with. So I'll put that down. like so, and then put down a second one. And luckily it didn't uh, come off there with a lot of difficulty like it usually does. So now we need to get the crust out of here and start working it. And 
and this is your typical uh, pie crust where it would be like the bottom and the top and in, in our case we're probably not going to uh, be putting a bottom it's just going to go over the top of the the skillet and just roll it back and forth each direction until it's big enough to go over a skillet this pad happens to have uh, measurements on it so you could do a 10 inch diameter pie crust or you could do 12 I believe this is 14 so I think we'll easily be able to get 12 if not 14 out of this Typically I'm making cherry pies or peach pies when I'm making crusts. We have a cherry tree and a peach tree and those pies are delicious. But occasionally I make a chicken pie or maybe some other type of a savory type of pie. And today that happens to be what we're doing. And that's getting about what we need to be. I don't want it too thin since we're only going to have one layer of crust on this pie. So that will be it. We've got it rolled out and as you can see we can move it around. We can put a little bit of flour on it. And should be able to fold it in half now. and then we'll move that off to the side. So the next step will be just preparing our chicken and vegetables. Well the first thing I'm going to do is cut up this chicken. Just going to cube it. I've left some of the fat on it. I've already taken the bones off. Uh, as far as knife skills, I think uh, good knife skills indicate that you you leave the kitchen without any cuts on your fingers. Uh, I'm not much better than that although I have cut my fingers pretty good before I'm just cutting one direction and then I'll come back the other way first thing I did was got the chicken bones the fat the skin and put it in a little water to make a broth and I'll be using that broth thickening it and putting it into the pie and then over here I've started our chicken. There's approximately one pound of thigh meat diced up and I'll be adding to that the carrots and the celery here shortly. That's just to par cook them to where they'll be completely done when we take it out of the oven. I just need to cut up all these vegetables. I'm going to use about a half of this onion. And I'm going to cut up three carrots. All these have been washed already. Like I said, good knife skills means you leave you leave the job with your fingers intact. Let's hope we have one of them today. Probably 
uh, enough celery. Got one more carrot. carrot. I think I'll dump these in the, the pot over here. Now that this broth is done cooking, we're going to go ahead and strain that out. That should be good. Well, the vegetables have been cooking now for a good 15 minutes. We're going to strain them off and then we're going to return them to this pan over here. I've got a, two cloves of garlic and we're going to fry them up shortly. Well, I got the pan going here with the two cloves of garlic and put a little olive oil in there. Take all these vegetables and the chicken, return it to the pan. If we can't get a little bit of browned edges on some of this. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of butter. Ah, heck, let's just put it all in there. Mix that up real good. I haven't added any salt yet, so again, I don't want to overdo it like I usually do. But that should do it. I'm going to put a little pepper flake in it. And I need to find some time. There's some time. Put about a half teaspoon or so of thyme in it. Make sure I've got everything I want. Maybe I'll put just a sprinkling of oregano. And that should probably be about it. Boy, this is going to be good. Vicky's really going to like this. I'm going to put our thickening in there. nice gravy and I think I'm going to go get the crust to put on top of it and throw it in the oven. So here's our crust from earlier. Hopefully it's not sticking together too bad. And all I do is I'm just going to drop away one side of that plastic. Hopefully this works by the way. I'm just going to take my hand and hold it the rest of the way. It seems to work fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim that up a little bit. I got my chef scissors here. I'll leave about a half an inch beyond the outer rim of that pan.
the stuff you cut off, you can uh, put some jelly in it and make nice little turnovers. Or put uh, like pecans and brown sugar and cinnamon. Always a nice treat. And that's it. Uh, now it's just a matter of how do you want it to look. super fancy because it's all going to eat the same way. If you want to be real fancy, you can cut a heart out or something like that. too far. I don't want it to fall apart, but I'm going to throw that in the oven now 400, probably for about 30 minutes, and it'll be good to go. One thing I want to do first is just put a little more salt on the crust itself. I'll put a little bit of uh, olive oil on the top of it, and I think that's going to be it. that leftover pie crust I spread it out put a little sugar down some fresh cut pineapple and strawberries and put a little more sugar on top and that'll be going in the oven shortly well there's the finished tart can't wait to dive into that one well time to see what this thing looks like hopefully it's done Oh yeah, that looks real good. Can't wait to eat some of that. Have to wait till Vicky gets home though. Well, Vicky just got home from work and she's gonna cut this thing and uh, she's gonna let us know how good it is or how bad it is. Hopefully it's good. And one thing I forgot to do, I forgot to put peas in it. I was all excited to put peas in and I forgot all about oh, it, so. We have some too. I know we do. Try that one. I hope it's set up good. There's no crust on the bottom, it's just on the top. Ah, okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Wow. That looks really nice. Look at the inside. Yes. Well, tell me how it is. Delicious. Awesome. So I should I make it again? Absolutely. All right. Well, there it is. Thanks for watching this video. Come back and see us again.